Okay, hear ye, hear ye, this is Lord Potato, and this is, well, what if Luffy was the reincarnation of All For One? Now, or if you like to call it AFO. So, how is this going to work? How is Luffy going to be the reincarnation of this very, very powerful person? Well, in the My Hero Academia, or evil. Okay, so, <clears throat> this is how it's going to work. All for one. I will tell the backstory of all for one because this is how he's gonna die. Because I don't think there's a certain death he's gonna die in the My Hero Academia unless he takes over Sugarari's body. And yeah, now, <clears throat> sorry, okay. So I figure out my Wi Fi doesn't really want to work right now. So, of course, I'm just probably gonna be uploaded like tomorrow, like in the very morning or something. I don't know. So, of course, I'm going to record this if my Wi-Fi doesn't come back in the next couple of, well, after I finish recording. Uh, this would be uploaded, like, the next day or something. But, yeah. Now, of course, how, when I'm, I'm actually doing this video, it's, like, at 1 a.m. Why? It's because I took a shower and I can't go to sleep right now. So, yeah. Now, <clears throat> enough with me bullshitting, whatever bullshit I'm just saying. <clears throat> Let's begin into All For One. All For One. So, how All For One is going to die is when All For One is at the verge of death. Yeah, he got defeated by Midoriya. And what All For One tells Midoriya is saying, You did well, my son. You did well. Because, well, the fact that no one knows who Hidashi, uh, what's it called? Hidashi Midoriya is, I'm going to just say it's basically All For One. Okay? And yeah. Since that's the thing, um, well, that was a theory a while ago, whatever. I'm still saying that it probably is. Because that would be a plot twist of the century. All for one being the, well, father of, uh, what's called Midoriya. That would be actually amazing. But yeah, of course, when, uh, Midoriya says, who are you? And all for one says, Hadashi, but I guess you grew up so strong. Such a strong hero, aren't you? <laughs> I guess goodbye. So yeah, they they uh what's it called uh of course all for one dies and done. So yeah, with that happening, all for one is transferred into a very dark place, like a void. This is where Jeff says, "I will give you a chance." Or why the hell did I made him sound like an old man? Whatever. I will give you a chance, but in another world, in a new life, to help out this boy. And all for one say, okay. So, is it like a reincarnation one? Yes, yes. You will be, well, you will be this boy sort of conscious, or not conscious, a second conscious. Train him. Give him all your abilities and train him to the best you can. Oh, for one says, sure, why not? What what else do I have to do? Or what else what else do I do in death? I guess I'll help out this boy. So, where we begin in Luffy. Now, everything in the original canon still happens in Luffy, like when he's younger and all that. Gramso throws him into a forest. He still survives. Of course, he meets Shanks. He eats a gumma gumma numi. He gets a hat. Blah, 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 he meets Ace, and the, also Sabo, and yeah. And of course, when Ace and Luffy were seeing Sabo off, and of course, this is where Sabo gets shot down by a noble. Now, Luffy, inside him, just has this burning rage that his brother just died. This is where all for one just finally manifested in, in uh, what's called Luffy's conscious. And of course, Luffy... Well, even noticing that he actually already awoke in one of the quarks of what well, offer one, and that isn't just the one to take. Okay, so how's offer one's uh, powers really gonna work in this world? Exactly, because I know so many people are gonna be asking me how are they gonna work. Well, offer one already has a lot of quirks with him, the fact every single power and all that. They aren't gonna turn into like double fruit powers. So, Luffy can legit give no flying fucks about that. Now, the Gamma Gamma no Mi is actually going to become a quirk. So, every 
uh, like say Luffy goes and takes how should I say um uh, what's it called the Ito Itonomi from uh, Do Flamingo like just takes us like uh, what's it called ability that ability becomes a quirk and not the devil fruit so of course the weakness of water doesn't really affect oh uh, not but not Barato uh Luffy with that happening. I'm going to make him fucking overpower. <laughs> now, if you don't like overpower water, fuck off. I don't care. Now, Luffy awoke in one, what, what's called, quark. And that is the air cannon. Now, I, of course, uh, what's called, all for one did kind of, like, level a fucking, like, whole town using an air cannon when he was fighting against what's called All Might. I'm going to give what's called, um, what's called... Luffy to actually wipe out the what's it called the nobles uh what's it called um boat and one shot using the air cannon like he left up the pan and he charges so much power into it and shoots a giant air uh air bullet towards or cannon whatever you like to say it uh yeah air cannon bullet whatever at the ship and it explodes into air everyone was shocked of course Luffy's arm is all like fucked up and all that. So, even though Luffy shot an air bullet and all that, that is still going to hurt his heart because Luffy is, well, a fucking child still. But it didn't hurt his arm that much because he's also made out of rubber. And rubber did kind of became a quirk. You get the point, right? So, yeah. Also, if he eats devil fruits, it becomes a quirk automatically, okay? So, yeah. He can eat... As many devil fruits and take as many devil fruits from people as he wants. And still be fine. The devil fruit curse of like you can't eat two. Uh, that won't work on what's called Luffy. The fact that the devil fruit of curse of uh, if you go in water you can't swim and you'll die. And sea stones and blah 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 will weaken you and all that. That won't work on Luffy okay. Because all of it became a quirk. Now everyone is shocked. This is where they, well, put Luffy's bounty as 50 million. Right off the back of him being like five years old. Everyone is shocked because fucking Luffy being five, well, not five years old. Was he five years old? Yeah, five years old. Fucking blasts and nobles ca uh, fucking ship and like wipe that shit out. Now, we go into seven year time skip. Now, of course, Ace is now 17 or god what was luffy again so of course this is where Lu i can't remember what age or whatever i can't say the pacific gear but of course this is where luffy does train with what's called ace with all his quirks and also he does train with what's called one for all or not one for all all for one in his conscience and all that because after shooting that cannon and of course a couple days it's coming and blah 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 he meant all for one in his mindscape and all that all for one has trained him in a bunch of quirks for about um okay the same canon years okay so when uh ace is now 17 luffy is 14 and of course after luffy became 17 he still sort of wears red so like the shorts and all that still the straw hat but this is where luffy's eyes are still kind of like black so, of course, when Bar uh, not Barto, when Luffy gets serious, his eyes have to become red. Also, I should mention that Luffy's hair isn't, well, what's it called, black that much. It became white after a while. So, yeah. So, it became white like this guy, okay? So, like, he uh, Dashi, or, well, you like to call it, all for one. So, with that happening, um, Luffy decides to set, see, uh, set, uh, uh what's it called? To see and all that for some reason I can't fucking speak right now and I'm feeling tired a little bit. But yeah, of course with that happening, Luffy he gets well attacked by the sea uh, dragon giant whatever the fuck it's called. Of course by getting attacked by it, uh, Luffy just uses air cannon just to blow it away, just to blow it the hell away from him. Of course Luffy is just like well uh, keeps swimming into the sea and all that. Of course, is where he meets a whirlpool and he says, fuck. He gets into a fucking... Okay, he still goes into the freaking, uh, what's it called, barrel. He still blows himself out of the way. He meets Kobe. He meets, uh, uh, 
whatever her, whatever her fucking name was, the fat lady, I can't fucking remember, okay? My brain isn't working that well, and I'm feeling a little bit tired. Since I'm not hearing music, I'm feeling a little bit tired. And since my wife wife is acting weird as hell, I can't really hear music. So yeah, with that happening, uh, Luffy, he still just well, what he does to the fat lady is just air cannon her away. And a bunch of people on the pirate already noticed Luffy. Now Luffy, since that time when he killed the what's called uh, the um what's called the uh, what is this the the celestial dragon? He had fifty million, right? Now he's sort of at like seventy five million because when he's training with Ace, he did kind of make trouble still with Marines and all that. So yeah, people are just seeing that this is Luffy, or also known Straw Hat. Straw Hat has seventy five billion. No, not billion. God, who wins a little overpower? I mean, million. So yeah, seventy five point five million. Now yeah. Of course, everyone's shocked, and everyone jumps into the small boat, and lets, well, Luffy take over the big boat. Of course, this is where uh, Kobe does tell him about the island to meet Zoro uh, or Noah. Of course, uh, Luffy does kind of go and see Zoro or Noah. So, everything original kind of was still kind of happen. Of course, when Mor Morgan's son, Hapepo, Hapepo, or something like that. Uh, like, still be dick and all that, and get punched in the face by Luffy, but easily knocking the fuck out of him. Um, this is where he kind of fights Morgan also, and just, what he does to Morgan is, well, makes his hand into the large hand, and just punches the shit out of Morgan. Everyone is shocked, knowing that this is Luffy, also known as Straw Hat, or, what should I say, Monkey D. Luffy, also known as Straw Hat, that has 75 Point five million berries on him. Everybody's shocked, and they are shocked that well, this pirate is actually here. Of course, Zoro still easily defeats the Marines and blah blah blah, and still decides to agree that he will join what's called uh Luffy. And it's shocked that Luffy is seventy five point five million uh berries on him. But yeah, with that happening, this is where uh Kobe kind of waves. By towards Luffy and all that. After, well, Luffy making what's called Kobe just punch him in the face still. Luffy's uh, dead heal from the punch because he does have a lot of regen uh, quirks and all that. So yeah, of course with that happening, they are kind of just looking around trying to navigate. And of course, this is where Zoro said, do you know where we're at? Luffy says, of course I do. I can see the island that we're going next to. Now, this is the Orange Town, I think so. I think it was Orange Town. And what was the actual island name? I can't remember. But yeah, um, Luffy uses a quirk that allows his like, vision to see further and further. Like, think of it like arbitration hawking. Think of it like how, uh, what's it called? Usan used it for like, seeing further and further and all that. So yeah. But Luffy has a quirk for that shit. He doesn't need hawking. Unless, well, I mean, I'm still giving, uh, what's called, I'm still giving Luffy Hawking and all that. That won't become a quirk, that'll still be normal and all that. But yeah, because I don't want, really want to change that out. Because everyone has it, so I mean, yeah. Um, not everyone, but some people has Hawking. And, uh, God, I, I can't think straight. Sorry. Let me. Actually. I'm actually just gonna leave it off here. Have a nice potato day, potato, potato, say potato, potato. I I'm too tired right now.